everybody. I want to share a few thoughts with you this morning on something that I've been thinking about. There's a song that's been trending on YouTube to the words of number 6, 24 to 26, the, the blessing. And I think most of us are familiar with the words, but I wonder whenever you hear those words, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. I wonder, can you just parrot those off? Or when you hear them, do you think, yay, it's the end of the service, I can go. Um, I've been aware of those words for a long time and I started to think about them and what it really meant. What does God's blessing really mean in our lives? I love to be able to finish a conversation if I've had um, a chat or spent some time with somebody and say, God bless you. And what does that mean? That means I wish God's best for, for that person. And when we look at this um, priestly blessing or the ironic blessing or whatever um, you, you want to, to call it, these are words that God told Moses to give to Aaron, who was the high priest at the time for the people. And there was an instruction that they're to reach out their hands towards the person and they were to pronounce this blessing on his people so as god's people let's think about those words let's unpack them a little you know may the lord bless you god's absolute best and keep you how many times do we pray that god will keep us and protect us the lord make his face to shine upon you isn't that awesome? You know, when I think of a shining face, I always think of getting excited, but especially over people I love. And I don't know if you've noticed, but you often see shining faces when people are so happy and especially around those they love. If we put that in the blessing context, isn't it amazing that God's face shines over us, over me? I think that is just so precious and so awesome. The next little bit says, and be gracious unto you. We live in God's grace through Jesus. God's grace abounds to us day after day after day. A real blessing, isn't that awesome? And the next sentence says, and the Lord turn his face towards you. I wonder what that means in your mind, if God turns his face towards you. I think that is another bit that is absolutely awesome. God is not turning his face away from us. Sometimes we have just a totally wrong view of God. We have a totally wrong view on what God thinks of us, but God wants to turn his face towards us. He wants to look at us and see what we're doing and bless us. Now, if you think that blessing is to do with financial or material gain, it, you've way missed the point. It may come into it, but God's blessing is so much deeper. And the last line says to give you and give you peace. There is no peace like knowing when you come before the throne of God and you know that you are right with God and you know that you can take that blessing. But as I was thinking about it, that's the last part. We have to be willing to accept that blessing. We have to take that blessing. And I wonder how good we are accepting that blessing from God. We need to put ourselves in the place of blessing. And then we need to take the time to accept it and take what that really means to understand that's what God wants for, for me. He wants his absolute best and his blessing. It wasn't just something from several thousand years ago. It's for right now, it's for today. So I need to reach out my hands and reach out my heart and look up and accept that blessing that God has for me today. Thanks for listening.